If you're tired of the standard business and marketing fundamentals, frameworks, and funnels, <laughs> you need a little mischief. Get ready to turn up the volume on the CEO Mischief Maker podcast, where you access conversations with seasoned business owners who have smashed through mindset barriers, innovated the standard boring business and marketing playbooks, and executed future-paced strategies with bleeding edge tools and tactics to micro fail their way into massive success and growth. We are Mindset Impact Strategic Catalysts, helping innovative entrepreneurs focus. We are CEO Mischief Makers. Ready to make a little mischief? Okay, welcome back to the conversation. CEO Mischief Makers, you know why I call you Mischief Makers, right? Mindset, impact, strategic catalysts, helping innovative entrepreneurs focus. That's what we're doing. So with that in mind, I get to welcome Mark uh, Schaefer back to the conversation and my favorite part. I love mindset. I love innovation, but now what the heck do we do? Where does the rubber meet the road? How do we get into the weeds and actually do something different? So uh, Mark, we were talking about community last time and I'm a part of your community. And I really, you gave me an idea when you were talking about a direction I'd really like to take and explore in this strategy and tactics section, because you, like you mentioned, took a big risk and you opened up your brand, your identity as an author to your community. Tell yeah. us a little bit about, about what you did and why you did that. <laughs> well, okay. So there's two things I really love about the, the community and how it is congruent with my brand. Um, number one is I am a teacher. I'm a teacher in everything that I do. Um, I, of course I do teach at, at, at a university, but I think if I write a book or give a speech or write a blog post, it's a, it's, I'm connecting the dots with my life and experience, maybe making an observation about the world in a way that I can teach. So that is, that is congruent with, with who I am as a person the the other thing about the the community is i recognize that i'm at a point in my life where i can send the elevator back down i can use whatever power i have whatever platform i have to elevate other people and i wrote about this i wrote a book called cumulative advantage and at the at the end of the book the chapter 10 goes completely off road. Chapter nine is basically the end of the book. And then chapter 10 is like, I felt so guilty writing this book. Let me get this off my chest. And I talked about how I was, I knew I was writing a book that in some ways was elitist, that there, there's a certain group of people in this world that can't afford this book or don't have the time to connect to this book and, and act on this book. And it's just like, why can't I write a book that, that it could be accessible to everyone. And so I thought, well, what did, I what did I teach in this book that is accessible and what can we do? And the big idea around momentum is creating these sparks of opportunity. And I, I know this happens all the time where someone in the community needs encouragement. They need a connection. They need a lift. They need an idea. And when, when I can do that, and we can all do this, and we do this for each other, whether we think about it, you know, you know, mindfully or systematically or not, but we can all create change in the world by simple acts of creating these sparks. These sparks can create a ripple through history. That's the way I look at it. I, I, I rarely say no to anybody I never say no to a friend. I rarely say no to anybody who needs help, even if it's a, like a high school student working on a paper, because if I help them in a certain way, that might send them in some new direction that will create new value in the world. That is my biggest job right now of, of sharing all these wonderful things that have happened to me in my life and sending it back down to send new ripples. That's that's my legacy. 
not working on a new consulting deal. My yeah. legacy is lifting people up and elevating them in a way that will send ripples through history. And that, with that in mind, what you did in this amazing Rise community is you opened the door and said, hey, <laughs> Let's write a book together <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> with no understanding of the individuals that might put themselves forward as knowledge experts or experts in a particular topic. And I, I'm speaking from experience. I came into this, uh, com- into this part of the community a little bit later than most people. I kind of, in the back end, most of the topics you put topics out or, or had people suggest topics. Yeah. I don't know how they started. Yeah. Um, and I came into it going, oh my gosh, I have to be a part of this. This is way mm. exciting. This is so mm. incredible. And mm. I put myself out there and the topic that I wanted to write on was already taken. So I'm like, okay, what about some others? And through a course of a conversation, um, just magically, the Mm. opportunity, the uh, chapter that I wanted to write on became available. You offered it to me and I'm like, oh my uh, Lord, how could this be happening? Mm. And I know I felt, and I, again, speaking from experience, I felt um, how in the world is Mark going to know that I can at all speak on this topic intelligently, let Mm. alone to the value that he would expect in his book. So I need you to talk about that because this is an experiment that could have gone way off the rails and uh, who knows what could have happened and you would have had to walk that back and that would have not been comfortable (laughs) in the community at all. (laughs) Well, the the idea really started with, and it it might, you, you were in my personal branding class and there was another person, I think she was in your class. And when I had my coaching session with her, she her dream was to write a book. Her dream was to write a book. But just because of her personal situation and all her obligations, there's just no way. And I kept thinking, you know, she could write a chapter. <laughs> she could write a chapter. It doesn't have to be a whole book. She could be an author. And how could I use that power in my community? Because I'm really good at writing books. So how could I extend that platform and teach people what it's like to be an author and have them experience that? So I I had it in the back of my mind. Then someone in the community said, we have so many smart people here that know so many different things. Why don't we write a book? I said, I'm glad you mentioned that. It was a huge risk. It really, really was a huge risk. Um, because, um, what we decide, I mean, every, every single thing in the community is about the community, the community first, you know, but in this one case, I am putting my name on the book for the simple reason that it'll sell books. We're going to split the money evenly, you know, across the board, you know, and nobody's going to get rich off the thing. I don't think, but I mean, it's, that's, you're, you're an author and you're going to share in, in the reward. And the only chance we really had to, to sell a lot of books is to associate it with my brand. And an example is we already have a contract with an international agent who's going to be pitching our book at the London Book Fair. So we're, our book is, you know, I think it's, there's a high likelihood it's going to be translated into other languages, yeah. which that is such a blessing for our community to experience, to be able to get a book in their hands and say, look at this, here's my chapter in Japanese or whatever it's going to be. So I, to, to give the, the book the best chance to succeed, I had to put my name on it. So you're right, that was a great personal risk. But the lesson I learned here is that Everybody just looked at this as an opportunity to say, I am not going to let this community down. I am not going to be the one. And I am going to do my very best work. And what we have is something extraordinary (laughs) because people had 1,500 words to prove they're great in this world. And and here's the thing that's going to be just just a gem. It's just this, this jewel, this gift to the world is going to be the audio book because we have voices and accents from all over the world, all mixed up. Yeah. We've got people from Ireland and Australia and Belgium and Germany and Canada and, and we're all mixed up. Yeah. 
Yeah. And we're all just doing our best to spread our ideas. So uh, it, look, it worked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we can say that afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and I think just like you, all, all the other authors are saying, is this really going to work? <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and they're saying, I can't believe how well this worked. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I have to, we have to encapsulate that into the fact that it truly represents a community because mm. even though we are in all over the world, like you just mentioned in so many different countries, mm. we are still part of a community. And that yeah. is how you have taken this whole idea that you've innovated and brought it into this strategy and tactic of mm. let's mm. test how the yeah. community is really going to work. And from <laughs> myself, Here's, I, I've got to say this. So if, yes, I had my own fears and you want to talk about anxiety. Is it going to be good enough to be worthy of Mark Schaefer's brand? Is it going to be good enough to be worthy of these other 34 other people that are, that are putting their expertise on the line? Am I, it, is it going to be good enough that I've always not, is it, am I really is what I'm saying. And then mm -hmm. beyond that, seeing this process, this whole collaborative process has given me strength to write my own second book. So I've written, I wrote oh, a book yeah. back in 2012, right? Yeah. It was a very personal storybook, you know, uh, nonfiction, but it was about my own life. Mm. And this one is going to be a, I've got to get this idea out into the world kind of book, like you've been talking about. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I'm thinking about it. I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about it and doing it are two very different things. And so mm. from this experience, when, it, when you talk about strategy and tactic, it gave me the tactics because I saw the process that you used. And now I'm going, oh, I can do that. Yeah. And I'm doing it. And you're, you're not the first person to say that. It's, sure? it's, it's emboldened several people in the group to say, you know, I, this, th these ideas that I have in this chapter, this is going to be the foundation for a book. This is like, I, I've always had this dream and this gave me the confidence that, that I can do it. So again, it's like, what better thing to hear in your whole life, MK, than to say, so, hear someone tell you, you changed my life. Yep. You know, you changed my life in some positive way. That's better than money. That's better yep. than anything. And you know, you'd be lucky to hear that from, from somebody like once in your life and here, you know, I had the opportunity for 34 other people, you know, I'm changing their life in some way. When you Google their name, probably the first thing that's going to come up is this book. Yep. And yep. that's, that's, that's a legacy. Yeah. And so I, I, if, if you listening, don't get this understanding, you, you don't understand what we're talking about and the, the implications of how you can take a mindset shift and you can innovate natural human processes, natural business frameworks into a new way of doing things. And then you can take, take that innovation and actually put it into action with strategy and tactics. Uh, I, I, I need you to keep listening because the, really what I'd like to hear from you in these last final minutes, Mark, is how, what, how did you put these ideas of community into action with the RISE community? How, give our audience some tips on how they can create communities that are as robust and life-changing uh, themselves. Well, honestly, MK, first of all, thank you so much for having me on this program. What a jo complete joy and honor it has been. And, um, you know, I, when I wrote this book, it's like getting a master's degree. I mean, you study and you research and you write for two years. And so, I mean, I, I think if you really want to learn the foundational ideas of community, it's this book. It's called Belonging to the Brand. There's nothing I can really impart in just a few minutes to give people that 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 idea. But I mean, I nailed it. I mean, I, I, I'm not a bragging person, but I mean, this is this is the path. It really is. And um, if you want to start a community, I would, I would start with this book. And you'll not only understand how, you'll understand why. And that is really important because it'll get you in the right frame of mind, the right mindset that we've been talking about. You know, the mindset is, it's everything in community. It's, it's everything. Why you do it, how you do it requires an entirely new mindset from what we learned about business in college. And um, so, you know, read, read, if you're seriously interested, 
you know, read, read the book and learn about the why, learn about the how, and then go do it. Because if you're interested in marketing, community is not just marketing that works, it's marketing that heals. And this is something we could all be proud of in our in our in our jobs and our lives wouldn't it be awesome to have the most belonging company in the world the most belonging nonprofit in the world the most imp- belonging university or symphony or insurance company what a thing to be proud of what a legacy that would that would create okay hold on if your mindset was shifted you were inspired to innovate and you were spurred into action, don't just move on with your day. Focus, my friend, and take a few minutes to visit ceomischiefmaker.com to learn more about the value that was shared with you today. Please act now and create some CEO mischief of your own.